Hello, my name's Sarah um, and today I just want to show you three different little book structures that involve concertina. I hope you enjoy. Um, from now on you'll just see my hands because they're more interesting um, and I hope maybe this might give you something to do if you're a little bit bored at home and also a way of recycling and reusing um, materials. Enjoy! This first book is the simplest one and it involves just one kind of long concertina and for this one I just wanted to talk a little bit about materials because I appreciate at the moment especially if you're in home and you don't have your studio with you um, in your house maybe you don't have lots of materials to hand um, and I just wanted to encourage you really that for this one I've just used a page from a magazine that obviously I don't want anymore um, and I've just whitewashed it over with some simple um, I think this is a matte acrylic paint um, which I've just washed over um, for me I quite like to still see um, the page coming through because I think that gives quite an interesting um, feel to it but obviously that's up to you so this is a sheet I pre-prepared earlier um, and really you can make lots of pages in different shapes and forms with this same same kind of material and most people have got some kind of magazine hanging around at home so for this little book um, first of all I'm just going to trim up the paper and get rid of the rough edge now a lot of the time I'm, I'm a big fan of keeping rough edges but for this one I'm just going to neaten it up okay and of course if you don't have a, have a knife and a ruler you can use scissors um, whatever suits you best so first of all fold your piece of paper in half Um, and to just explain, this is a bone folder. Now, if you don't have a bone folder, that's fine. Um, anything you could use, um, like here's my scissors, for example. You could just use the edge, the plastic edge of the scissors. If you have a plastic ruler, you could use that. You could use uh, the end of your pencil. Anything that you have available that isn't going to kind of cut or rip the paper is fine and what we do with a bone folder it's to give us a really sharp fold so we always start from the inside and work out to the edges and then the other side the same the reason we do that is that when you fold paper um, it stretches slightly so if we were to start at this end and stretch to this end it would get slightly wonky, very slightly, but enough to be a pain. Um, so, open it up, fold it the other way, which is easier because you've already got one fold now. Bone folder, center to the outside. And then what I'm gonna do is just rip it because that's very easy when you've got a good fold already in there. So I've got two pieces. So each of those pieces I am also going to fold in half. So again, hold in the centre, use your bone folder or plastic implement out to the edge. And the same with the other piece. Hold in the centre, move to the edge center edge okay so now with each of these pieces we're going to fold it in half and then half again okay same with this one half half again now 
Now, there are different ways, if you want to make a really long concertina and your original piece of paper isn't long enough, there are different ways of fixing it together, depending on what you want. So, what you can do is just stick two pages together, alter your folds, and there you go. But that way, you lose a page. So for this particular one, what I'm going to do is open out both my sheets again. And I'm going to stick a piece of paper across this middle bit here. Now all I'm going to use is some Pritt stick, a little bit of Pritt stick. And then do your best to match up as much as possible. And there we go. So now we've joined them together. And trim off and fold back in half again. So we've got one really lovely long piece of paper. So again, fold it all the way up and you'll need to put a little fold in there. And you might need to alter the direction of your folds. That's fine. There we go. And then again, I would use your bone folder, center out, center out, center out, center out. So you've got this really lovely long piece now. So just to make a quick cover for that, we've got a piece of card here. Now, again, if you've got no card hanging around, then just use some packaging, um, you know, cereal box or whatever. Um, and you can always cover it with something that looks a bit prettier if you want to. So what we need to do for the cover is make something that's going to fold into three like that. So this is our one long piece. I've already measured. I've placed that there and made a fold at that end. Now this is where, you know, makes it look a bit nicer. If you, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but there's two little folds. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. There's two folds that give it like a spine. So a quick way to show you how to do that, I use my ruler. I decide where I want my fold to be, line up my ruler, and then push the paper up against the ruler. So you get a nice fold straight away that's really straight. And then once you have that fold, you can get your bone folder again and do your corner to corner thing. So you want to do that in two places. So you've got like a almost like a little box happening um, with a flap at one side. And to be honest, it doesn't matter which side. It doesn't matter exactly where it is, but that's just going to be your fastening. Um, so I am now going to stick stick my book in so all I'm going to use for this is a bit of Pritt stick um, let me just work out yeah, that way so I'm just going to put some Pritt stick on the back of this now if you're doing something bigger and it needs to be more stable then you could use double-sided sticky tape but again that's entirely up to you and on some projects I would do that but for this one because it's really small doesn't need it so stick that in the middle section and then if you, you see you can pull out your concertina and you can use both sides of it and then all we need to do to make a folding is take your little flap and some scissors and sort of roughly just to the right of the middle cut to your first fold can you see and then the same that side so we've got kind of like a 
triangle shape happening. Fold that over and with your pencil, just mark halfway down-ish. There we go, that will do. So then what you need to do is put a little cut from that mark to that mark. Just rub out my pencil marks and that's my little closure sorted. So that can then just tuck in there and you've got a lovely little neat, little neat book. And although this is tiny, I've done this just because of the uh, filming on my phone and not having anything sort of bigger or better to do. But the principle is the same, whatever size you make. So you could make yourself this in an A4, in an A3, you know, whatever you want um, with whatever paper you want. Enjoy. <laughs>